Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're looking forward to paper two. I'm sorry that you're probably stuck inside revising when it's so nice and sunny outside, but hopefully it won't be too long now until you have finished for the summer. I also hope that you have found my predicted papers useful. Remember, they are just predictions and nobody knows what is going to come up. And the best plan, of course, is to be comprehensive and revise all topics. My most recent paper, um, I used just Madass questions and I got called out because I mislabeled one of the questions. Uh, it was this question and I put this down as implicit differentiation. And as the comment said, technically, it's not implicit dif differentiation. Well, technically, that person was 100% right. So what I decided to do is find the hardest implicit differentiation question I could on Madass website, and we're gonna give it a go now. So if you find it useful, please do subscribe, like, and comment. Let's get into the maths. A curve has implicit equation 2x sine y plus two cos two y equals one for y between zero and two pi. Determine the equations of the two straight lines which are parallel to the y-axis and are tangents to the above curve. Okay, so let's just imagine the curve looks something like this. The tangents which are parallel to the y-axis will look like that. And these tangents will have dy by dx essentially infinite. And how we achieve that is making the denominator of the gradient function equal to zero. Right, so first what we need to do is uh, differentiate the function. And it's implicit, so I'm gonna have to remember that and be careful. And this is a product, so what I'll do is I will differentiate the yellow part first with respect to x to get two, multiply it by the blue part. And then I will keep the yellow part the same, and I will differentiate the blue part, sine differentiates to cos, but because we're differentiating with respect to x and that function is a function of y, we have to multiply it by dy by dx. Next we differentiate 2 cos 2y, well cos differentiates to minus sine, so it's going to be a minus, the input is 2y and the derivative of that is 2, so that comes out, multiplies by the 2 to make 4, and um, cos differentiates to sine. But again, that's a function of y, so we have to write dy by dx. And that's equal to one differentiates to zero. Okay, so what we'll do is we will factorize the, um, the dy by dx's. In fact, actually what I'll do first is I'll move them over to the other side, these two terms here, and I will factorize out dy by dx whilst I do it as well. So that moves to that side becomes positive. And this moves to this side becomes negative. So we get this. And that means I can divide through by this factor. And I can also divide through by um, two as well. So this is going to give me um, dy by dx will equal sine y over 2 sine 2y minus x cos y. Okay, brilliant. We have a, an equation for dy by dx. So what we need to do now is, like I said before, the gradient is infinite in these particular points, so the denominator needs to be set equal to zero. So if that denominator is set equal to zero, then I say 2 sine 2y minus x cos y equals 0, which means 2 sine 2y is equal to x cos y. And we know that 2 sine 2y, uh, the double angle formula for sine 2y is 2 sine y cos y. So this becomes 4 sine y cos y equals x cos y and we can bring it all over to one side to try and solve this and 
and then factorize out a cos y and that will give me 4 sine y minus x equals 0. Okay, this gives us uh, two solutions. So we have either that cos y equals 0 or x is equal to 4 sine y. Okay, I will um, I'll start with this one, x is equal to 4 sine y, and at the particular points, we know that the gradient function has told us that x is equal to 4 sine y at those points, but on these points, they're also um, on the curve, so it means that the equation for the curve holds true as well, so it means I can use that. So I'm going to sub into my equation of the curve. So I'm going to write it out again, but I'm going to replace the x with a 4 sine y. So it was 2x, where I write 4 sine y, multiplied by sine y, plus 2 lots of cos 2y is equal to 1. I can rewrite this as 8 sine squared y plus 2 lots of, and cos 2y, using our double angle formula, is the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared y, which is going to be helpful to get the equation only in terms of sine squared. Okay, multiplying out, it's going to give me plus 2 minus uh, 4 sine squared y is equal to 1, and simplifying, I'm going to get 4 sine squared y is equal to, bring the 2 to the other side, minus 1. So sine squared y is equal to minus 1 over 4. And this is going to give us no solutions, because we can't have a square term equal to a negative. So I'm not going to get any solutions from that. OK, so then we turn our attention to this one. Um, cos of y equals 0. Um, quick sketch between 0 and 2 pi tells us that cos of y is equal to 0 at y equal to pi over 2 and y equal to 3 pi over 2. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, if we go back again to our um, quick sketch, we now know the y values at these two points, but we're really interested in the x values because that will also be the equation of the vertical line. So we'll need to sub back into our original to work out the corresponding x values. Okay, so our original equation was 2x um, sine y plus 2 cos 2y is equal to 1. So I get x equals 1 minus 2 cos 2y all over 2 sine y. So I'm going to sub in y is equal to pi over 2, and this is going to give me x is equal to um, pi over 2 times 2 is pi, cos of pi is minus 1, times minus 2 is plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. Pi, uh, sine of pi over 2 is uh, 1, times by 2 is just 2. So there is one of my tangents. And then y is equal to 3 pi over 2. Uh, times it by 2 gives you 3 pi. Cos of 3 pi is the same as cos of pi, which is um, minus 1. Minus 1 times, times by um, minus 2 is plus 2, plus 1 is 3. And that is over sine of 3 pi over 2 is uh, minus 1 times by 2 is just minus 2. So great. Let's just write the minus there. And we have our two values for the tangents. And that is it. Job done. Hope you found that useful. Subscribe, like, share. Bye for now.